Howdy y'all, it is 6.58 p.m. on Monday, March 16th. I have finished grading all of the week one work for EDU U607. Uh, so please do go into the grade center. Everyone has specific feedback. Now I wanna clarify two things. Number one, for the week one journals, some people got woohoo go ahead some people got uh please send me little clarification but uh and some people got woo slow down we need to rethink it's okay that's the process guys um when we have our week two meeting this thursday which again, it's voluntary you don't have to come i will record it i'm hoping you'll come i'm highly recommending you'll come so that not only can we hear each other's voices, but uh, it's a great opportunity to have answers to the questions that, you know, maybe you just keep meaning to shoot me an email, you forget, particularly I'm gonna be talking about the signature assignment, what you journaled about. I do at this point though, want to clarify, guys, comp ed is its own beast. You truly are not going in to solve a problem or answer the question with the most definitive answer. That's, that's not what comp ed is. It is a practitioner's way of opening up our thinking about what is possible by examining something. Something, not something, something that is done here, done there, but how? How does this country handle inclusion? How does that country handle inclusion? How do we in the United States handle it, inclusion? Oops, wait, I first need to define that because it may mean something else in another country. See what I mean? That's why people who particularly had huge topics, I've tried to help you narrow it down and we will work together, okay? This is a very process-oriented kind of work. It's not a quant paper where you decide, I'm gonna gather this, 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 and then I'm gonna be able to answer this. That's not comp ed. It's exploration, it's examining. Okay, so check that out. Now, discussion boards. Some people are gonna go in and look at their rubrics and see their grade and go, rock on. Some people are gonna go in and go, Oh, okay, good start. And some people are gonna go, what? It's okay, guys, it's week one. I recognize that every instructor manages threaded discussions differently. They want different things. They use them for different purposes. In online courses, they're managed very differently than in blended courses, and that's purposeful, all right? So if you, you look at your grade and you're like, It's okay, it's week one. And again, I am hardcore process oriented. Nobody has just lost a wonderful rockin' A uh, because of maybe a rocky start to the threaded discussions. Please read your rubrics. There is specific feedback for every single person, okay, along the criterion. And if you thought you understood the criterion but you didn't, Take a look at the feedback. If you still aren't clear, come in Thursday night and let's discuss it. I had open office hours today and I did have a couple people pop in. We had a couple great conversations. Hello, it was lovely to talk to you. Okay, so we're a team. Education is a team sport. And the threaded discussions are not about telling me what you know. Don't focus on what you know. Focus on what you don't know. Inquiry. Define the direction of your learning by asking questions. Ponder. Okay, maybe that's how you feel, but what if, or how about, we don't know what more there is to know until we allow ourselves to be comfortable with not having an answer, right? Let's focus on great questions because the great questions are what's going to empower us to really open up our thinking and discover new ways 
of affectively or behaviorally or cognitively dealing with issues that we may not even know exists. It's the only way we're going to find out, okay? Uh, last but not least, if you're wondering why I'm wearing this fabulous shirt, uh, my kid won a contest at school. Um, and so I don't know if this will work. Let's try it. So these are all the, um, the Merman way. It's not exactly pithy, but what Grady did is he took all of these terms and they made a rap video. He and his best friend made a rap video and it's on YouTube. So I think if you stop the video and check out the QR code, you can download those for free, QR code. I think you'll see the video. I'm trying to hold really still. Okay, anybody brave enough to give it a shot? Let's see if it works. Okay, bye, I'll see you Thursday night. Any problems, issues, ideas, or chocolate, I am an email away.